Hey, how's it going guys? Jackson here with PC Bros and Toasty Bros and today I'm just going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to install games in your PC. This is also going to include how to install the actual launchers for the games, exactly how to purchase the games. So the first step is really simple. Basically, whether you have Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Microsoft, Firefox, whatever, it doesn't matter. You're basically going to go to each one of these installers. Now, depending on what games you're playing, there's going to be different installers. Some installers or launchers actually share the same games even. For example, Rocket League, you can get typically on Steam or on Origin slash EA into my account over here. But basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to press install Steam and then you're gonna get this right here. Just press it once and then boom, we have the Steam set up and you're just gonna click that. You'll press yes. You're always gonna get these prompts. They're basically just legal prompts. Um, same with this. So it's gonna ask you, what language do you want? Now here's sort of an important part because this is going to actually choose the folder where Steam's gonna go to. So I always just leave it default because it's automatically gonna go to your main Windows drive. So we're gonna leave that default. Basically press install. And then once you're done installing it, you're basically just going to have to sign in. This part's very simple. It's just like signing into an email. All you have to do is create an account, or if you already have an account through PlayStation or Google or whatever, you can just press sign in. And if it's not associated with a Steam account, it'll walk through the steps. It's really simple. There's no money required, by the way, for any of these apps. If you have to pay money for these apps, you're probably getting scammed or something. Because at the time of recording this video, all of these launchers are free. You buy the games within the launcher. So now we have Steam. So how Steam works is really simple, actually. You just type in whatever game that you want, and as long as that game is on Steam, you're good to go. It is not fresh. I have lots of games already, but let's just say this new account. So you're gonna just get the basic Steam store. You're not gonna have anything in your library. So right now I see we got a we got a good weekend deal on this game, Plague Tale. So we're gonna click on this game and you would go add to cart if you wanna buy this game. You can purchase it for yourself or as a gift. If you do purchase a gift, it's going to actually ask for like a username um, on Steam for you to send this gift to. But we're gonna do purchase for ourselves. And once you do that, Obviously, I'm gonna be hiding all this, but it's going to just have you check out, just like you're checking out on Amazon or any other website. And once you do check out, go to library now, and then you can search by the name or whatever you wanna do. But let's just say, so we're gonna do this game, Among Us, because it's very small. So let's just say we just bought Among Us. The game's $4.99. I just bought it, I'm gonna press install. And now you can just install everything to the same folder that you installed Steam in, or I really like to actually install it under a different drive and I'll show you the reason. As you can see, I have my local C drive, which is my main drive. Once that gets full, everything wants to automatically install there and download there. I don't like that drive getting full, so I use my other drives, not the USB one, but like SD, SSD storage or RGB storage. I usually use this one here and I actually made a folder called Steam and that's where I download my games to. See, I have have all my games once we get to the other launchers I just haven't downloaded there really simple and the games will always ask do you want to put them on the desktop I often pick yes if it's a game I'm gonna play so for example this steam game right here Halo Infinite all I have to do is double click it it'll launch as long as my steam accounts logged in it'll just automatically launch the game you can also go over here and you can right click and you can go to your recently played games it's also how you open your store and library or you can just press the uh, Steam icon down here pulls right up. It's just really simple super easy to use you actually have a Steam wallet So you can actually keep gift cards and other forms of currency there But yeah, that's Steam very simple to use. It's definitely my favorite launcher It's also one of the world's favorites because it has the most games on it next up We have battle.net So we're just gonna go to the Blizzard Entertainment and this one's also very simple to download. You just press download battle.net and you just gotta give it a second, give it a second, there we go. So now we're downloading down here, and it's the exact same as the Steam Launcher was. Very small, all we have to do is click on it, it's gonna ask us to go through the setup, and it's gonna ask where you want to launch it and everything. I already have Battle.net um, actually downloaded, so I might be double downloading it right now, or double installing it. Um, but regardless, Battle.net's definitely a good one. Um, you're gonna see a lot of your most popular Call of Duties there, so like, you know, the new Modern Warfare is Warzone, uh, Diablo 2, Overwatch is also on there. So once again, we're gonna make an account. We're going to just have the desktop um, icon here. Another thing you can do is you can usually always type in any I any applications you have if you just type it in or just type in some keywords. Like I can just type in B-A-T, B-A-T-T, Battle.net's gonna pop up. I can click on it. Or like I said, I can press the icon here. And now Battle.net um, laid out a little bit differently. So if I go to shop, which I'll just pretend you guys made a fresh account. As you can see, I'm already logged in. And there's a lot of, there's World of Warcraft is through Battle.net. That one you have to subscribe for, but a game like Overwatch, you just press buy now. 
and it's probably gonna tell me I already, oh, it's not even telling me I already own it because this is a different pack. So I'd basically just press buy now and then it would take me through the checkout. Yep, and we're not gonna actually buy that because I already got Overwatch. So then if you just go to games, this is like your games. This is your library. So as you can see, Overwatch 2. Now normally what you would do is you'd press um, install if you didn't already have it, but mine says play because I already have it. But once again, same with Steam. Just press install, choose where you want it to install, and boom, you're good to go. Now we have Epic Games. This has everyone's favorite game on it, Fortnite, which I think Fortnite might actually be available on Steam now, if I remember correctly, but you're gonna basically do the same thing, download Epic Games launch. This one's actually quite a bit bigger, 153 megabytes. And we're just going to press the launch button. We're gonna install, oh, I did not wanna install it because I already have it. So we're just gonna press no so it doesn't do that. But basically, you'd go through the install, it's gonna ask what folder you wanna put it in, just like the other installers, and boom, you have Epic Games. So now once we have Epic Games, I can click this. So for Fortnite, I can literally quick launch. If I press this, it'll just launch the game. I really don't want to do that. I'm not feeling Fortnite right now. Uh, so as you can see, this is a game that I've already bought, Chivalry 2. This is like a public, it's just a, a random beta, but I could press the install button. It's gonna ask where I want to install it and I can change that folder if I want. This one also just has a store just like the other. So you go to their store. This one's laid out, you know, fairly friendly. It's not too bad, but you gotta remember all these game launchers are always gonna have free to play games too. So keep an eye out for those. And they also have sales um, where they go really cheap. Sometimes they have sales on other websites. So you can actually go to those other websites and download the game. Well, sorry, you go to the other website, you get a key to download the game. The other websites are not going to be the downloads. So be really careful about that. It's how a lot of people get random viruses and stuff is by trying to get free games from sketchy websites. Nowadays, they're all through launchers. Next up, we have the Riot Game Launcher. Now, this one's a little bit more complicated because I think this one you pretty much have to sign in. So I'm gonna do that real quick. I'm gonna use my, my Gmail because that's what I use um, for this launcher in specific. So now I'm signed in. Yeah, so with Riot Games, you basically have to already be signed in in your internet application and then you're gonna press the download button here and it's going to bring this up. So this is basically, this is the full Valorant install. That's why it's 28.4 gigs. Most launchers don't work like this. You could almost say that the Riot Games launcher isn't, it's kind of like a hybrid launcher because it's also a uh, special anti-cheat. As you can see here, if I exit Vanguard, I'm gonna get a message saying, if you turn off Riot Vanguard, um, you're gonna have to restart the PC because it has a really good anti-cheat built in. So there you go, we're actually downloading Valorant to so get to see a kind of live example here. Um, you can see how fast you're downloading it at. And uh, I think if I click here, yeah, I can see my games. I literally just have Valorant. Um, so yeah, League of Legends, I guess this is probably what Teamfight Tactics, which is also basically League of Legends, um, and that's, that's, I think that's my, I guess that's it, yeah, this is all games, so, yeah, Riot Vanguard is kind of just like doing their own thing, you could say, they're not really much of a launcher, I'm sure they'll have more games come out on eventually, but as of right now, it's just basically Valorant League of Legends. Now the last one is EA, so I've always called this Origin because it, it is, it's, it was Origin for like the longest time. They've recently, oh, they ceased operations for its Windows platform, directing players to EA Play. I don't know why, but anyways. So now you go to EA. Funny enough, mine right here, look at this logo. It is still Origin. It literally says Open Origin. I just want you guys to see that. Really weird, but yeah, this is where I play like Apex through. Apex can also be played through Steam, but I also have like Star Wars. I think most of the Star Wars games are on here. Um, but yeah, basically you're just going to go download the EA app and it just works just like the others. So you're probably noticing a really good uh, repetition here. Um, and then if you ever wonder, by the way, if you download an Internet Explorer or some other apps and you can't find where you went, always go to your downloads folder. That's where pretty much everything should automatically download to. And here's all my installers. I can click them and install them the same way. I don't want to install that three times, but um, yeah, so EA slash origin, pretty simple. I think if you download it now, it's just going to be called EA, but I still have Origin on my PC here and at home. I'm sure if I just uninstall it and reinstall it, it'll be called EA at that point. Maybe it still looks like Origin. I'm not really sure, but they're the same thing. So with this one, I'll give you guys a little, just like we have with all the others, we'll go to store. Okay, so we're in the Origin store slash EA store. I know, um, I wanna say Sims, if I remember correctly, Sims is pretty popular on here. Yep, Sims. So all the new featured Sims and all that stuff, all the DLCs will be on here. Um, I think there's a good amount of like Madden and FIFA games on here. Apex Legends is, I always have played it through here because that's what it was on. You're, you're gonna see a lot, by the way, too, guys. You gotta remember, games are games. The platforms that they choose to be on is up to them. So like once a game like Apex came out, it was just on 
origin because it was made by ea and then eventually they were like hey let's go on steam as well eventually who knows they could be on epic games too they could be on all platforms some games are all platforms some are one or two some are just the single platform you never really know um, you just kind of have to keep up to date by googling it so there is your old quick tutorial on how to install steam battle.net ea epic and a couple others which are pretty much going to be the exact same um you're definitely going to notice that trend and if you're wondering what's really the glory of having all this stuff online rather than having disc well there's a reason consoles and pc are pretty much switching to all virtual for one it's less waste they're not having to make a ton of dvds and big books to go with them with instructions like that it is all online for you number two is you can't lose the game that's one of my favorite parts you can't scratch the disc to where it doesn't work anymore you can't just lose the game to where you know you can never Ever use you can never have it again right like once you lose it you can't just go to the um you know your game stop and be like hey i lost my game they're gonna say well that sucks um nowadays you know if i have diablo 2 here i can download it on as many computers as i want as long as i sign into my account each time the only catch is you can't play on multiple accounts at once so i can't be on like you know my account is like we'll just say beast like that i can't have beast like that logged into this pc and my pc at home at the same time playing um, because then at that point you need two licenses, right? So is, if you just download two separate Steam accounts though, make, sorry, make two separate Steam accounts and you can download the same games, you don't even have to re-download the games because it's Overwatch is Overwatch, right? Like it's still the same game. So I might just have to sign into a different account, but that's really one of the main things I love about it. And another really good thing is you will find the best deals, especially when it comes to Steam, Epic, just all the launchers that are on a computer, you will find deals for 50, 75, 80, even free. And I'm I'm talking like percentages so 75 percent 80 percent um compared to normal msrp with D with disc you never really got that i mean eventually after years of being out they'd go down 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 uh but even then you really can never get a disc for free because it was a physical item that took a lot to make when it comes to these virtual games over time they just become free because you know there's not really any they've made all their money and they're not having to physically give you a copy anymore so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you out make sure you check out toasty bros toasty diy toasty clips of course and also so we're going to be doing another video on how to install updates and how to install drivers and this is mainly going to be for windows because this is really important for being able to maintain your gaming pc and being able to make sure that your pc can play these new games that you install having your graphics drivers and your windows updates up to date and installed is important it's going to be a really simple video guys make sure you just come back to pc bros llc youtube channel to find out more